I know I should go for a walk or something, but I just, at this point, I'm like, I don't care. I don't care about going for a walk. I just want to be comfy. I'm in like my comfy <laughs> jammies and, you know, full on prego gear over here. And I just want to be comfortable. So I don't really care about going for a walk and getting anything started because I think I'm just like, I'm past trying to be proactive <laughs> about having a baby. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm coming from um, my car, well John's car, a little bit of a different setup, um, but I'm going to pick up our babysitter right now because um, John is working from home and so he's going to come to my 40 week pregnancy <laughs> appointment, um, which is exciting. He's not come to any of my appointments, um, so it'll be nice for him to be there and oh my gosh, I'm like, I feel like I'm so um, smushed in here that I'm like pushing down. I mean, you guys, like, I feel, I feel huge. I feel like especially just in like the last week, but I'm having Braxton Hicks all the time. And so my stomach's really tight. And if you guys know, like sitting, sitting up when you are having a contraction is super uncomfortable and I get them all the time when I'm driving. And so I'm like, I have a couple minutes before I need to go pick up, um, our babysitter. And I just wanted to come on here and kind of document this last week. This is the very first time I have ever reached my due date for my baby. <laughs> um, I have gone early with all my kids, whether it be a couple days early or Fiona was like a week and a half, two weeks early. And it's kind of just been a little bit surreal to me. Okay, so after my last appointment, I, I mentioned that she gave me a membrane sweep and I was 39 weeks at that appointment. And so after my appointment, I was hopeful that um, any kind of changes or any kind of anything that happened would bring on labor eventually in the next few days, and it did not. And so the next couple days when I started having contractions and all that kind of stuff, um, I was cleaning my house, I was acting like a crazy person trying to catch up on everything, and then everything kind of died down. Um, she did drop lower, significantly lower the last, um, over the last week, which I don't know if that was because of my membrane sweep, um, or just because I'm, I'm just, I'm 40 weeks pregnant now, you know? So yeah, that is kind of where it's been the last week. Um, nothing crazy. I'm still having heartburn. I'm still having a hard time sleeping at night. Um, but I would say more than anything, it's been like my emotions and my hormones that have been, um, the hardest just um, mentally preparing for her and being excited and not trying to be disappointed when it doesn't happen, which I feel like is what everybody deals with at this point in pregnancy, you know what I mean? And so baby number four, it's no different. <laughs> I do wanna um, give you guys an update after my appointment. And so I will put that um, after this and you guys can find out what exactly my midwife said to me. Hey guys. So this is um, the next day. My midway appointment was yesterday. You'll be able to hear my kids playing downstairs right now. Um, but I had my midway appointment yesterday and John and I actually just like, we went out to eat after and hung out and just kind of spent some time um, talking and stuff on the way home. And so I didn't vlog and then we came home and um, it was like mid afternoon. So the kids were all flying around everywhere. And so I waited till today to do an update. I'm kind of looking a little, I look kind of how I feel right now. I feel really tired and just kind of like, Meh. and that's kind of how I look right now. <laughs> so 40 weeks in one day today, which is kind of surreal to me. And at my appointment yesterday, um, she checked me and did a sweep. I was about a three. Um, she, well, she said, I'm a good three, <laughs> which sometimes I wonder when they check you, like if they're just like trying so hard to like, just give you hope, you know, <laughs> like that, that something's happened, which is why I hate getting checked. Um, but I had her do a sweep on me. And so when she did a sweep, she saw how she could see, feel how progressed I was. I had a little bit of bloody show. I've been losing a lot of my mucus plug yesterday and today. It's been about 24 hours now, almost exactly since I had my sweep. Um, yesterday I was just feeling like so uncomfortable afterwards. I was just like, I just felt uncomfortable and you know, things have had gotten shooken up down there a little bit. And so, um, which is no surprise when you get a membrane strip. But then today I'm not really feeling anything different. Um, I feel like how I've been feeling, she's really low. Um, I'm super out of breath and uncomfortable. I think the biggest change now 
that I'm feeling after going past my due date is I think there's just been like a change in my hormones. Um, I'm like super weepy right now. I'm very emotional and I don't really know why. Like, I don't know why because <laughs> I know that I'm going to have a baby. I know that she can't stay in there forever. Um, but like, I don't know why I'm just feeling a little emotional. A lot of um, you guys have had your babies if I follow you on Instagram, which I'm so happy for. It's been like on one, on one end, it's kind of like, oh, I'm still pregnant. But on the other hand, it's like so just it like gives me so much more oomph to like, okay, it's coming. Like you're going to be next to see all of your guys' babies and to see your guys' births and all that. It's just so, it's really like, it's spurring me on. So, but now that I've gone past my due date, I find that I am having, I have like kind of like a different set of worries now that I didn't have before. And not that I'm like losing sleep over it, but you know, I had to schedule like an NST and a 41 week ultrasound for next week if I don't have her by then, which is normal just to make sure everything's going good. And it's just like different things that I have never had to think of, like different complications or different things that are higher risk when you go past. Um, and I know so many women have their babies like 41, 42 weeks. It's um, much uh, of our culture <laughs> and um, my generation that freaks out about due dates for sure. But you know, it's it gets in my head a little bit when I'm thinking about it. So I've had like just some yucky dreams and just um, some fearful feelings in me about certain things. And I don't even want to talk about it. I don't. Need, I don't. It, it doesn't deserve the time of day to even think about it. But. That being said, I think a lot of it is hormones <laughs> and a lot of it is just kind of um, being past due, you know? And so, yeah. Um, so today, I'm not really feeling anything crazy physically. I took the kids. Um, we went and got lunch with John and we played Play-Doh all morning. We haven't really, like, done... I took the day off of doing school with them and we just kind of have hung out all day. I know I should go for a walk or something, but I just... At this point, I'm like, I don't care. I don't care about going for a walk. I just want to be comfy. I'm in like my comfy <laughs> jammies and, you know, full on prego gear over here. And I just want to be comfortable. So I don't really care about going for a walk and getting anything started because I think I'm just like I'm past trying to be proactive <laughs> about having a baby. I'm still, I'm so excited to see her and um, I'm just feeling... I'm feeling, I'm just anxiously awaiting her now, so. So yeah, guys, um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you my belly since I am actually live and I'm not in my car right now. All right, guys, well, that is it for my 40 week update. Follow me on Instagram or social media if you want any kind of like faster updates because I don't know if I'll have a 41 week update um, I'm not really sure I don't know at this point we're just kind of waiting to see when Ingrid decides to make her debut so I love you guys and I will see you later